Okay, hi. For my convenience, I'm going to use Chief Architect Premier, but I won't do anything that won't work in architectural. And I left out one thing. And I'm sorry about it. I just forgot. I'm going to go over here and redraw. <laughs> Good Lord, that's close. I need to turn off show line weight. That's goofy. I want that a little bit larger than that. Well, yeah. There we go. I know this little, what I'm doing right now, that doesn't exist in architectural, but that's nothing. But you know how to draw walls, so I'm not going to worry about it. I want to make this wall about 20 feet deep. It's just arbitrary. Okay, and like before, uh, in the prior video, I'm going to go over here and build floor, build new floor, derive from, that's fine. I don't care about the ceiling height right now. Okay, now I'm going to take this, we're on the second floor. I'm going to take this and move it over 20 feet. Take that, put it up minus 20 feet. Oh, I didn't like that. Okay. We'll try it again. Minus 20 feet. It's a tab key this time. Okay, it worked this time. So you turn the reference display on. Hello, reference display. There it is. And so there's a garage. Now on mine, I don't have auto auto rebuild walls on like is on by default, but I'm going to use it. And uh, see, I've got mine set to let's make it uh, ten to start with. And of course, it's got, the auto rebuild thing is going to make hip rows. See, I, like before, I'm going to go over here and create an overview, and then hit shift the shift key and F6 to, to do that. So you can kind of want follow along with me. Now these two walls, to save time, I'm just going to shift select them. You, you can't do that in architectural, but it's not a big deal. If you want to pay several thousand dollars more to, to get Chief Premier, you're welcome to do so. Now I'm going to go over to the roof tab, which is the same, and tell them both to be uh, full gables. And I didn't turn auto rebuild roofs on, see, now I need to click that so it acts like, okay, there we go. And we'll go down to here and tell this to be a gable roof. Roof tab, full gable roof. And now we have one. And I'm not gonna show the garage door here thing, that's it redundant to the other video. What I left out and what you were asking about is how to get a raised gable. So I'm going to go up to the second floor. I don't need the reference display for this floor. That's just an automatically created wall that the program does that on its own. That's fine. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to this screen, get into select items. And now I'm going to, what I was telling you was that with the interior wall tool, we'll just create a room here. And I'm going to shift select those walls and use the centering tool, left click, to find the center of not those walls, but of the whole thing. Now, I'm going to go to the wall break tool. Where is that sucker? I don't, it's normally right along in here, but I don't see it right now. Oh, there it is. That's what it looks like. See, it says wall break. Left click on that. I'm going to break, take this wrong, long wall and, and break it off so that it's just collinear with just this room. See, now I'm going to take this wall. Hello, where's the, there's the open icon. And we'll go to the roof tab and tell it to be a full gable, but just right there. See, we get a gable there. 
Now we want that raised. Then you go to the room dialog box, open it, and we'll go to the structure tab. And you can see the finished ceiling is about eight feet. Let's raise it to 10 feet. Voila. See, now this is two feet higher than this roof and this roof. Okay. That's what I forgot to show you in the other video, but this should take care of it, okay? Thank you. Have a great day. Goodbye.